Hello guys, S2W here with your casual consumer's perspective review. For this video, I was able to grab a sneaker that's potentially one of the hottest releases of summer 2018. The Jordan brand has created a new lively colorway for the Jordan 4 in a collaborative effort with multi-platinum recording artist and rapper Travis Scott. And you know when a rapper is tagged along with a Jordan sneaker, it quickly becomes popular and high in demand. Today, I have the Air Jordan 4 Cactus Jack by Travis Scott here for review. For those wondering like me, the name Cactus Jack is essentially the name to Travis's own record label. For his first Jordan collab, the colorway used for the sneaker honors a football team in his Houston roots, the Houston Oilers which now is renamed as the Tennessee Titans. The baby blue of the team's uniform was used as the basis for this Jordan 4 color blocking, and now essentially with the arrival of summer, a color so bright such as this one will surely be a head turner. How are these in person though? Let's take a closer look at these sneakers. Now the Jordan 4 silhouette is considered as one of the most favorable shoe model in the Jordan line. And looking at these in hand, the university blue colorway on this iconic model just added a strong vintage lift and flashiness to it. However, they do look duller or toned down in person in hand, and not as bright or vivid as the blue seen in the images online. The whole upper is made out of suede, and by touch, although it didn't feel very furry, it still does change color as soon as I brush against it. Additionally, to combat heat that's trapped inside such a thick leather layer, we will continue to see the staple mesh window with a netted finish at the side panel to allow airflow. Other than that, both the lateral and medial side of the shoe looks identical to each other for that uniform look. Also for Jordan 4s, the silhouette distinguishes itself uniquely with its ankle support lacing cages, as seen on the side surface of the shoes. They've added a speckled pattern on this plastic caging as an extra creative touch as well. Hanging off the shoes, we'll see a hang tag with the Jumpman logo on one side and then Cactus Jack on the other. Then looking at the shoes from up top, we will see that they've brought out wax laces to accompany this collab. These laces not only lace through the aforementioned cages, but also through the leather upper for that firm and lockdown fit. Then under these laces, we will see a large standing blue suede tongue with the Jumpman and Flight branding patch stitched right on it. And if we continue looking downwards, the tongue changes back to mesh for better ventilation, protected by the netted finish on top. Just like the original Jordan 4s, few more brandings will be spotted on the shoe by simply flipping the tongues over. Travis Scott's name will be seen on the left internal tongue, while Air Jordan is seen on the right. Taking a look at the back of the shoes, the speckled pattern returns again on the plastic heel pole. However, logo-wise, we will see a mismatching design with the Jumpman logo debossed on the right shoe, while Travis's Cactus Jack logo is seen on the left. These two logos will again be seen on the insole of these sneakers, but they will switch sides where the Cactus Jack logo is seen on the right insole now and the Jumpman logo is on the left. The insole is decorated in red with a speckled pattern and are removable, but that would require you to rip them out as they are somewhat glued down to the midsole. Internally, the area around the back is heavily cushioned at the wall lining. This lining is also finished with a red surface that also peaks above the collar of the shoes, so we won't just see the baby blue but also subtle hints of red as well. As for the midsole, it's the same foam technology used on previous fours with visible air cushioning at the heel. The heel window is see-through, so we'll witness some supportive pillars in red raised inside. The midsole is also hand-painted in white and blue on the outside, which is very apparent with its brush strokes and air bubble residues. Finishing the close-up of the shoe is this black rubber outsole of the sneakers. But if we flip the shoes over, the outsole is not completely dark as we'll see the center portion embedded with a translucent rubber sole. This also is heavily patterned to maximize grip on the floor with one last Jumpman logo in red at the midfoot area. Anyways, here are some Air Jordan 4 Cactus Jack by Travis Scott fit footage. Sizing wise, I bought these on my true to size and they fit well. If you have wide feet though, you may feel this model is a little bit tighter at the forefoot and midfoot area when compared to Jordan 1s and 3s. I don't think it's necessary to go up half a size, but if you are a wide footer like me, we may just have to suck it up on this model. Comfort wise, because it's using the same technology used in the past, it does not have that soft cushioning that people love at present times now. Since it's a new colorway on an iconic silhouette, it's really worn more as a fashion statement in my opinion. At the price point of 300 Canadian dollars at retail before tax, it's a premium pricing to pay for such a trendy shoe such as this. Although I love the color blocking, the craftsmanship was just all over the place on this one. I was able to see a few pairs and most of them looked messy. I've seen suede with scratches and stains, and my pair has loose threads and the regular glue marks spilling over the edges. The QC could be better in my opinion, especially on a collab. But in Toronto, it seems like the Jordan store downtown had a bunch of pairs in stock came opening day. Although the lineup started a whole day before its release, there were so many pairs that I've heard if you lined up a few hours before they opened, it was still possible to grab a pair, so it wasn't extremely limited as I had thought. So let me know if you grabbed a pair or you sat this one out or took an L. 
As always, throw me some likes if you like this video and let me know in the comments what you think about this colorway. It seems like there are two more unreleased colorways of the Jordan 4 Travis Scotts in purple and brown. If you have to only pick one, which one do you like the best? That's it for today, S2W signing off.